Hey guys, welcome back, and uh, we're going to continue on with our tutorial here with the Paragon Assets. Uh, if you have checked out the last video, you should have a, a working character here uh, that will run around and at least jump, use the basic Unreal control setup, and now we'll use uh, two of the animations from the Paragon Assets uh, to get a couple swings going and I'm gonna make it so this character can still run while he's attacking instead of um, being stuck uh, in place while the swing motion is happening and so let's uh, get started we're gonna go to the third person uh, blueprint here and we'll open that up and then we're also gonna go up to edit and then project settings and then down here on the left inputs up here to the top uh, action mappings you can open that up and you should see jump and reset VR is in there so we're gonna add two action mappings real quick and we'll just call these uh, left attack right attack and let's set this to, and you guys can set whatever uh, whatever is more comfortable for you and however you want it. I'm going to set this to left and right, right mouse button. And you don't have to hit save on the project settings. It'll automatically save everything one of the few times you don't have to constantly hit compile and save uh, okay so and then come back in here to the third person character you can come down here and find some space wherever and then uh, we're gonna just um, get our left attack and right attack actions uh, that we just set up Okay, so there's a couple different ways to do this, um, but I'm going to just show you a real simple way to kind of get you guys going. Uh, there's lots of maybe better methods depending on what um, you're actually going to use the game for. If you have a specific need um, to change this in a particular direction, just let me know in the comments and uh, I'll do my best to either make another video or um, maybe try to d uh, direct you through comments or Discord. So anyway... Um, what we're going to do here is just type uh, get anim instance and then from anim instance drag off and montage play and you can uh, control W to duplicate that and then you can just pick hook up your anim instance and set these in here and then we don't have the animations quite yet but we will get there in a second so uh, now we're gonna head back over to the mannequin animations and then there should be a third person anim BP in here and so you want to open that up and then head to, um, you want to actually so you want to head to your anim graph uh, and if you can't find that just you can just click on it over here um, I was in the state machine and that's where it was at so it's kind of a little confusing if uh, you look up top here and you kind of get lost you'll see this is in the state machine then the, your anim graph is there and it's it's kind of strange how they have it set up but uh, I've gotten lost in here before when I was starting with Unreal and thought that was kind of confusing so I figured I'd mention it um, so get back to your anim graph and then we're gonna break this link so um, this is your default state machine so this is uh, the state machine we were just looking at with your idle jump uh, loop jump end and then these are each variables that tell whether or not 
that condition is set to do that particular action and uh, you want to kind of stay out of here unless you really need a separate state um, to block off like if you don't want to be able to jump while you're doing something in particular you can come in here but uh, it's very easy to get variables tripped up in the state machine um, it provides some easy smooth looking transitions between animations but um, you want to try to stay out of here if you can and so we're going to do a real simple way. We're going to come back out. So this is the state machine. If you hold mouse over, you can see um, it's just showing inside. So uh, if that makes a little more sense. So what we're going to do is we're going to set a cached pose. So this will, um, and we'll rename this to locomotion. And that cage pose is just holding on to the state machine in case you want to uh, add some further logic down the road. You can just keep dro dropping this locomotion cape cage pose. It's hard to say uh, anywhere you need it and and blend it as needed. So now we're just going to call that. So get our um, locomotion cage pose, and then we're going to actually want two of those. So just Control W to duplicate that again. And then we're going to say uh, blend per bone. And we're going to blend these two. Oh, not yet. Uh, and then with this one, you're going to say default slot. And this is what it's going to do is take the r normal cache pose, which is the, the locomotion running, jumping that we have set up. And it's going to, when a uh, montage is played, it will make sure that the montage is played over top of the locomotion. But we're going to blend it by bone so that everything from the waist up uh, plays the default slot and everything from the waist down is um, going to continue doing what it was doing. So if we're running while we swing, it doesn't, uh, the legs don't stop moving. Um, because we, if we're not using a root motion animation, it would just show the legs stop moving, but the character would continue moving, and you'd have to either shut off the motion or um, use a root motion animation that the capsule is halted during the animation. Uh, root motion just means that the capsule around the character, the collision capsule, uh, is moving the logic, uh, and that it's it's moving the character so um the positioning can be read like say by the server if it's a multiplayer game uh where is if an in place motion uh, animation is playing the um the character mesh will move and can move outside of the capsule so the capsule may be sitting still while the character is over here doing something and then snapping back it's fine for single player games it doesn't work well for multiplayer so um, anyway just hit compile and save and now we have uh, our animation that plays while we're running is going to take over and we need to set a bone for these guys to blend to. So we come up here, click on this once, layered blend per bone box, and then um, in the layer setup, just open that up and open both of these, and then you're just going to add a array element. And uh, once you add it, open that up, and then we're, um, we're going to blend spine underscore zero one and oh, whoops I just happen to know the name of that one but if you need to see the bone names and you want to do some other stuff with that um, if you go into the character mesh uh, not that one because we aren't using that um, go into Quang meshes open his skeleton and instead of retarget manager just hit the skeleton tree and you can get the names of all of them and then if you click on a name hit, um, uh, right click and rename uh, oh you can't you can only rename a socket not a bone so you can at least just get the name um, and make sure that it's spelled correctly so go back and we're blending from spine zero one we're gonna set a blend depth of one Oops. 
keep doing that and then compile and save and so now uh, we can go get our animations to apply to these montage play boxes and then they will blend so we're going to head into Paragon Quang characters heroes Quang animations and then uh, up here just type attack and then we're going to use um, primary attack D and primary attack C and so let's look at these real quick so he's swinging on his left side we're going to call this left attack uh, right click on it and then come up to create create and montage and then I think I said that was left attack and then go to open up primary attack C and uh, that's going to be the right so right click on that create and a montage right attack so now we have our montages so let's save go back in here and let's put our left attack and right attack We'll save that and let's check this out and see what happens. So now, as you can see, not only can we attack, but it doesn't because of the blend per bone and using the default slot at the spine, uh, our legs are free to do what they want while the uh, montages can play as the character's running around. So um, that's a pretty good way of doing things. And uh, as I look through and find some cool particles and uh, some maybe other attacks, some dodge moves and stuff, we'll continue messing with this guy and just uh, see what we can do with him. But this is basically going to familiarize you a little bit with Unreal, um, allow you to branch off and find s some other tutorials and whatnot that you can apply to this little template that we're setting up here. Um, you know, and if you have questions or a specific... Uh, thing you want to do with this just feel free to let me know and I'll try to help you out. Thanks for watching and uh, stick around and, and stay tuned for the next video.